Hey y'all, this is Joe and Gail out here at the cabin at St. Bernard Acres. I'm going to be doing a little bit of work. I'm going to put up the collar ties, button up a little bit of framing projects, so that hopefully next weekend we can come out here and insulate the ceiling. Uh, I'll show you what I mean by collar ties. Somebody coming down the road. Alright. So what I'm going to do is use these two befores. I'm going to cut them 30 inches long. And they're going to go on the rafters. Going across the rafters. And it's going to serve two purposes. I don't really need them for the collar ties per se. Um, what collar ties do, you've got rafter ties and you've got collar ties. The way I understand it, I am not a building, building inspector, I'm not a builder. <laughs> but the way I understand it, the collar ties their collar ties are if they're in the top third of the rafter their rafter ties if they're in the bottom third of the rafter so my beams that I put in are kind of acting like rafter ties um, that's why I said they had like a dual purpose when I put them in they're more decorative but what the rafter tie does is keep the walls from bowing out if there's a heavy snow load on the roof. Um, these rafter ties will tie the walls together at the bottom of the rafter so they can't be pushed out. Collar ties, on the other hand, are used for uplift or pulling apart from the ridge beam. You don't want the ends of the rafters to pull apart from the ridge beams. And that could do that and cause the roof to collapse. Um, that's especially needed if you look up in a roof on these sheds that people are using to pre-build uh, or to convert into houses, you definitely have to have them in those. This is an 812 pitch roof, so I'm not going to have a lot of snow load to begin with. Uh, that was the point in doing the uh, roof like I did. It's one of the points. I wanted maximum head space there in the loft, but also the snow will just slide off of the metal roof on the 812 pitch roof. So, my collar ties are going to be used as collar ties, but also as a channel running along the length of the ridge there. And that channel will allow me to put wiring in it and run down the length. And I'm going to be putting in uh, ridge vents. On both sides, I'm going to put a small vent so that air will circulate through there and my insulation won't get, you know, it'll take care of the insulation and, and the condensation and stuff like that. There will be air moving inside there, um, which will keep everything dry, which is our ultimate goal. But the ridge vents will be up inside the uh, collar ties. And I'll have the boards, you know, the ceiling's going to go up at an angle go across, and then down the other side. So you'll see as I start putting it together. Um, but that's my understanding of the difference between collar ties and rafter ties and their purpose. If I'm wrong, and if I'm sure, I will get plenty of corrections in the comments. But let me start cutting. I'm gonna, my collar ties are going to be 30 inches. So I'm just going to start cut, cutting a bunch of boards at 30 inches to get ready for them. I'll be back.
to do put this up in here like so and all I'm going to do is make sure I'm level like that right there Thing you're about to notice is uh, I had to switch to old school. <laughs> Use a hammer. Um, I don't know what's going on with my nail gun. I think finally my hose is bad because uh, I had it uh, clogged up on me. I sat in a bar and the wasp built a nest, in, nest inside it. And I got a little ice pick and was picking it out and I busted the seal so it doesn't really close off when it's not on a tool. And it's not giving me enough pressure. You know, it shot the little nails just fine, but it's not letting me shoot these 16 penny nails. So. And now another one of these up for you. And show you I do know how to use a hammer. Uh, I did this once. Let me get this level. If I were doing these, don't you have to do the other one? To code, yeah, I'm just getting in a oh. better position. Uh, if I were doing these to some kind of code, I think you're required three or four nails in each end of these collar ties. But again, I don't have to worry as much about these being structural as I am just for looks and uh, ease of use. Well, plus if you had your nail gun, you could shoot three and then not a problem. Uh, no, I thought about eating the first one. Yeah. Uh, Alright, let me see how I'm going to get to that one. So, I guess I'll do the ladder the other way and go backwards on it. Turn around. We do film in this case a fall. That's right. <laughs> you didn't get my fall on, on tape, but I can get yours. You know what? Hmm. I'll put the other one on this side. Uh, well, let me see if I can. Okay, I'm going to stop recording. Yeah. <laughs> so now I'm up in the loft. A whole lot easier to nail these up. <laughs> not have to maneuver around the ladder. So, let me get them started. You don't have a story of how this reminds you of doing something? 
when you used to roof and stuff like that? Oh, I nah. Nah? Nah. Or when you used to have to... I used to have to do this. But I don't like doing it anymore. Uh, if I had the money, I'd sure enough pay someone to do it. But we don't have the money for that. Or the neighbors. Yeah. Yep. Can't go get my neighbor to come up and do it. Wow. And you know what's amazing? Huh. They all look level going down through there. I needed this loft to be about six inches higher. <laughs> So, this is what I was trying to achieve. Uh, let me climb up the ladder a little bit and show you from up there. Alright, so you see the boards going across there. My collar ties. Get up another step. Now on the end there, I've got to take a 2 by 4 run it down that way, sideways, and nail it into those little st studs there so that I have a nailer for my ceiling material. And once I do that, get those boards in place, then I'll be able to nail something across the gable in there. Uh, for the to follow along these lines of the collar ties but that's what collar ties are and that's how I'm using them uh, now I'm going to do the nailers I need on that side and replace my freeze blocks over here and we'll be ready to insulate and if uh, I have 180 extra dollars next payday. We can buy the insulation for the roof. And uh, then I need two or three rolls of 16 inch for these gable ends. And to finish up down there in the bathroom area. And we'll be 100% insulated then. And I can start doing my the rest of the drywall up the walls. And the 6 inch for the ceiling. We're going to go with the 1x6 pine uh, for a ceiling. So that's going to look pretty good. And then we'll be, you know, just trim work on the inside. Taping, floating, the drywall, painting. And uh, doing all the trim. But that's the nice thing about having it dried in. And we get a free day, we can come out here and do a little bit of work. Uh, but I hope you understand now what I mean by collar ties. And I uh, hope you like this video. Share it. Leave a comment. Uh, other things. I don't remember what. <laughs> uh, but this is Joe and Gail. We're out here at the cabin trying to knock out some more stuff. We're out.